In our last episode, we began to take on life in the Pyrenees. In this video, we will continue to challenge our old van by exploring the stunning Spanish Pyrenees. We left the last episode here, camping on the side of the mountain. Good morning! <laughs> so it's the next morning and we are frozen. Also, it didn't help that we have slept in the north side of the mountain, like that the valley is all sunny and the only bit that doesn't have sun is where we are, this side of the mountain. But the views here are amazing. We have the van started, we are trying to heat it up before we hit the road. Today we're gonna head west more and we are going to head towards Ainsa, which is another medieval town in the Pyrenees, which I am dying to see. This is the hill that we came up yesterday, all the way up to the waterfall, and look how steep it is. Because of the accident, it's so hard to open the door. Thank you. Hola. Hola. I have to ask him to open it for I'm, me. I'm Since the accident, there's gaps here. We've stopped them with pa with paper because last night it was very cold and it was raining. But there's like a huge gap here. And on top of that, the back door keeps opening on us. Like right now, we were leaving and the door just literally opened. When in the Pyrenees, you don't need a fridge. You get cold water naturally. Is it cold? Oh, it's like ice. Oh my god. No, no, I'm not trying it. I'm trying <laughs> After a freezing night, it was time to hit the road again and keep heading west into the Pyrenees. So Annie has just come back to the van with the goods. Um, a lighter, tomato sauce, cheese and a bag full of stuff. And a butter. We romped up in the sun and then we started making our way through the beautiful mountains of the Pyrenees. Kilometers. It doesn't look that bad when you're pointing up, but when you look down. So we stopped off at this place to empty our wastewater and our rainwater, and there was another camper here before us. And instead of just driving over and letting all your wastewater go in here, people empty it up here and let it run all the way down. And it means that people's gonna to have to go stand on it. Please just empty it in there. Time to empty this. So after going through those steep roads, we have finally made it to Ainsa. Fergus struggled, but like always, he didn't let us down. Made it to the top. Ainsa is one of the Pyrenees gems. It truly throws you back on time with its medieval architecture, which dates back to the 800s. The walls that surrounded the town centuries ago remain almost intact today. Well, tonight we're staying up right here, and tomorrow we are hiking this. So we got to our park up for tonight, just here in this national park, so it's very hard to find a place that you're allowed to sleep. But we met this uh, couple from England and they told us to climb up this wee trail and it takes you to like this church on top of the mountain. So trying to get up there now before sun sets and see the view. So we've made it. So we're making our way back down now because it's going to get dark any minute. And we want to get down before we start. Good morning. So it's the third day in the Pyrenees, and today we are heading to do a route called Cola de Caballo, which means horse tail because of the waterfall that it's at the end of the route. So we slept right at the bottom of the mountain last night, and now we just have to make our way, our way up it if the sheep let us. <laughs> it's that steep that Per Fergus can't get out of second gear. Now <laughs> uh, we've generated a uh, gear traffic. Like always. Where are they? Keep left at the fork. I will do. So Annie's just ready to the toilet. I have started cooking our lunch. So we can have some pasta. So we can take it up with us. 
it's like so so strange because this year we've gone from summer <laughs> into autumn in like literally two days like there's no transition no, it was like Costa Brava to sleeping in the Pyrenees at one degree <laughs> so Annie's just finished making her sandwich our bags packed it's very autumny out and it's time to hit the road we've been on to the garage this morning and they are going to be fixing this in about two weeks time so van's all locked up we have all our food with us and now it is time to climb all the way up there to the top oh, of this we're mountain. Up there. Oh, no, where are we going? <laughs> we're going around it. Oh we're going around it, we're not going up. <laughs> oh ah. my god, I would not like to go up that. <laughs> right, that's what I thought we were going. No, we're going around the mountain. There's a waterfall and all. Well, there's many waterfalls. That's a lot of India then. <laughs> the one sign everybody hates to see. No drones. This hike that we're doing is either gonna be an hour long or two and a half hours long depending on how many waterfalls you want to see so guys we made it to our first waterfall it should have took an hour it only took us 45 minutes so it's quite an easy hike this waterfall is called Cascada de Aripas and it's a small enough waterfall but we have another hour hike to go to see the other one but so far this park is beautiful it was only like a 10 minute hike from the other one <laughs> now it's when the one starts we've gone like an hour or so and now we have like two more hours to get to the final waterfall so that's when it's gonna start getting tricky the view from this walk is incredible surrounded by the Pyrenees unbelievable weather leaves are turning orange it's getting autumn time, couldn't be any better. Now we've made it to one of these waterfalls, incredible. Shane's cooling down his toe, he, he, he doesn't know if he can make it. And there's Shane making it all the way to the end with a torn ligament. Made it to the very, very end of the hike, three hours later, uh, <laughs> the waterfall doesn't have that much water. Like it is very, very nice. Hi, the setting is very nice. The waterfall is average. We've we, we passed nicer waterfalls. Yeah, like we've seen like four other waterfalls that were nicer than this one. But the nicer view is that way. It's this way. This valley is absolutely amazing. Now it's time to make it back to the van before nightfall. So we're making our way back down to the van. We're about an hour or something into the walk back. Starting to get, the sun's starting to go down over the mountains. Uh, starting to get very windy. It feels, I sorry. <laughs> it feels very like autumn. <laughs> We have finally made it back to the car park. 18 kilometers later. Is that what it is? 18, yeah. We've been on it. I thought I unlocked it. <laughs> I thought I unlocked it, but I locked it. Good morning. So, today it's my birthday. So, <laughs> Shane is making breakfast for me and I'm gonna have breakfast in bed. The luxuries of fun life. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Two double yolks. Yolk. So that's three. Whoa. Birthday breakfast in bed. Scramble eggs. Toast. Um, yeah. Thank you, Shane. Happy birthday. So right now we're just cleaning up the van and getting ready to head off. Still surrounded by the beautiful mountains here in the Pyrenees. Nothing major, just tighten up down there because the bed seems to be a bit loose. And topped up oil and current. Much better. I can't think of a better way to spend my 25th birthday driving through the Pyrenees with these amazing views. The only thing is that we are in so much pain after yesterday's walk. My knee is like super sore. Yeah, 
uh, I'm just old age. <laughs> so we have left Torla and now we are making our way to La Ermita de Santa Elena. And first we are going to look for a birthday cake in one of these small villages in the Pyrenees, see if they have like a local bakery. So let's see if we find it. Okay, so we've made it to this little town now and we've stopped to get a birthday cake for Annie. So we're walking to the bakeries and she's going to pick out a birthday cake. But they were gonna enjoy it. Oh, there it is. So, two bakeries, no cakes. <laughs> we haven't found a cake, but <laughs> we, found we, we have dessert. So, we're just out of the restaurant, absolutely stuffed. Hardly fit the walk. We got two massive desserts, so I don't know if we're getting the rest of the cake, are we? Oh, no, I can't. So, we are on our way to Camp Frank which has an abandoned train station. It will soon be a hotel, but still an abandoned train station. So we are going to go see it. And on top of that, we're going to meet one of our subscribers. And I think he's found a place near a river, which looks ideal. The weather has taken a turn for the worse, and it's grey skies and it's starting to rain. We've made it to the abandoned train station in Can, in Can Frank, but now it's been turned into a hotel, so it's not as nice as I would have liked to have seen it. I would like to have seen inside where all the graffiti and all was, but still nice to see. It'd be a cool hotel. It'd I'd be a cool hotel. hotel. It's nice to see that it's going to be put to use and not just left abandoned. Yeah. But we've met up with uh, Brian and he's in his T25. So now we're heading back to our campsite and we're going to park up for the night beside them and see what we get up to tomorrow. <laughs> to you. Happy <laughs> birthday, dear Annie. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Oh, thank you! Make a wish! I already did! <laughs> <laughs> Is that the chorus? Ah, badly. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. Sure. So after spending a lovely birthday with Brian and Natasha in their van, we had to say goodbye this morning because we were going opposite directions. So we are heading to uh, Thermal Baths, just heading towards Pamplona, and they are going east. So we had to say goodbye, it was very sad, but we'll hopefully meet the end of the road, maybe um, down south. We'll be next to the show when we head yeah. down south, but uh, we'll meet up with them in their yeah. van, so you can see their van. Uh, we arrived to the thermal baths we stopped off at this little abandoned village alongside the road and as we pulled in this car pulled in beside us and it was an Austra Australian couple with a Spanish car with a Spanish car I was really car. confusing at the start they thought they were Spanish and they saw Fergus and they want to buy a van like him so they fell in love with the van and came over and were talking to us and now we have a contact in Australia so if we ever go to Australia they told us to come stay in their property they have huge gardens full of kangaroos so the people that you meet along the road with this van is just incredible yeah, it's a friendly van and we'll be sure to visit Australia at some point we've taken your word if you're watching us <laughs> we'll come and visit you in Australia but for now we're exploring this abandoned little village let's see what it has to offer Pretty cool the places that you find along the road here in this part of Spain. There's all these little abandoned villages uh, up there. It has a wee church. So pretty cool. So this is the church. Okay, yeah, so we thought this place was abandoned, but there's actually people. Not twist. It's not. <laughs> we walked past this house. That was yeah, the day it was on. Like this place is run down and anything, and they tell you it's on. But I was thinking, why is there wires like for electricity? Why is all this cables here? So somebody's living here. Yeah. On their own. You would not be doing that. So now it's time to go to the thermal baths. <laughs> what do you think of Andy's shoes, eh? Oh, my hip. <laughs> That's what you get for living in a van. Take the bag. So the weather is a wee bit crappy today here in Spain, 
but we are making our way down to the thermal baths so it's going to be nice and warm I don't know what this is going to be like we were talking to a couple that were here and they were like it's just a load of naked hippies lying in baths so let's see what it's like you know it doesn't work so I can't smell anything but Annie can already smell what? the mud Smells coming like rotten eggs oh. We're going to stink of this afterwards. Okay, I might get in. <laughs> you can actually drive your van down here, but I don't fancy taking Fergus down here. He will end up getting stuck and uh, we'll not be fit to get back out. Okay, so we're ready to get into the water, but we can't record anything because everybody is naked. And I found a dog. <laughs> <laughs> These were actually discovered by the Romans a couple of thousand years ago, so they are so old and it's crazy that like this hot water is actually coming from underneath. Like is that the water you come from? No, but it's <laughs> it's boiling, like it's so so hot, I don't know. There's a kettle over there. Oh there's a kettle. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a constant flow of very, very hot water. And stinks. Stinks and stinks, it does stink. Uh, but it's nice. Hopefully you we don't stink afterwards and it's just the mud. I don't know, maybe it's too optimistic. I just don't want to go to the van stinking. <laughs> so last night we slept by the thermal springs and this morning we are heading to the south of Navarra. So that concludes our Pyrenees vlog. Fergus made it through the Pyrenees. Yeah, he actually surprised us. Like we went to like some very high mountains and waterfalls and everything. The highest town in the... The uh, highest town, higher than the highest town in the Pyrenees. 1800 meters high and the ferry is launching because he also very well um, made it all the way we were down in second gear and first maybe no just second, just second gear second. but the fan was on and we were yeah. doing about 10 kilometers an hour <laughs> but we made it and they are totally worth it so if you are thinking about going to Bernese we highly recommend them if you especially like hiking the views are amazing the little towns are lovely um, so yeah just be prepared and wear warm clothes not like us that we were going from Costa Brava and randomly decided to do the Pyrenees uh, it wasn't too bad it was just that night it was one degree <laughs> but Fergus is very well insulated you can check our video to see how we insulated our van we made it no problem but no heater no nothing no heater no <laughs> so yeah and like some of the, some of the park ups that you can find in the Pyrenees are out of this world. Yeah, it's so peaceful in the middle of nowhere. You'll have it to yourself. Nobody to annoy you. Amazing. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about traveling through the Pyrenees, drop them down in the comments, yeah, okay. and we'll be sure to get back to you. But as always, like, share, subscribe, head to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.